Let us start with the question number four, past paper practice question. This question is on electromagnetic induction. This is your past IGCSE question. If you want, you can pause the screen and then play it again to refer to your answer. So let us start. Name the process that causes a potential difference across a solenoid due to the movement of a nearby magnet. Simple. We have a chapter dedicated to it as well. This is because of electromagnetic induction. The answer should be electromagnetic induction. Now part B, the figure here shows a solenoid connected to a zero center voltmeter. So you see a voltmeter, you see the solenoid as well. A bar magnet is held with its north pole close to one end of the solenoid. So you are given the bar magnet, you are given the solenoid, you are given the voltmeter, you identify all the paths correctly. So let us go to the question. The magnet is pushed into the solenoid and then brought to rest with its north pole just inside the solenoid. So what is happening? You are moving the magnet near the solenoid. You are creating a motion between the magnet and the solenoid. Describe the movement of the pointer of the meter M. Describe the motion of the pointer. Two points. Why? You have to give two points here in your answer. Why? Because it is a two mark question. You can say, you can say that the meter will deflect. But will it keep deflecting all the time? No. Why? Because the magnet is brought to rest ultimately inside the solenoid. So what do you say? The meter will deflect and then come to the zero position again. It will show a movement. It will deflect and then move back, move back to zero again. It will deflect and move back to zero again. So you are mentioning two points in your answer. It will fit you two marks. Let us refer the mark scheme and see what they are saying. The meter will deflect and it will return to zero again. One mark for each of the two points that you will mention. So two full marks. So always it's a good idea that you look at the marks that the question is carrying. It gives you an idea about how much you need to write in your answer. How much of a details you need to provide in your answer to fetch or to gain all the 100% mark of that particular question. Now the next part. The magnet is now pulled to the left of the solenoid. Now you're pulling the magnet towards the left. Earlier you were making the magnet enter the solenoid. Now the motion is opposite. And at the same time it is happening at a higher speed higher speed than in the part one of the question. Compare the movement of the pointer of the meter with that seen in one. Compare the movement. Again, two mark question, they are looking for two points. Because it's a higher speed, so higher deflection, greater deflection, deflection, Greater deflection means it deflects to a greater extent, greater angle, right? And opposite, in opposite direction. In opposite direction. So I'll refer the mark scheme to verify if your answer is correct greater deflection and that too in the opposite direction. Both the points will fetch you one one mark and then you'll score full marks in this question two by two. 